two little gardeners. Spring, the snow melted, a snowdrop came up, a robin hopped, and a worm turned in the ground. The groundhog cast his shadow and the two little gardeners came out of their house to plant their garden. They turned the earth with a shovel and fork, they chopped up the earth with a hoe, and they smoothed out the lumps with a rake until it was soft and smooth with only little lumps in it. At last, it was time to plant round radish seeds, thin black lettuce seeds, and round wrinkled little pea seeds, flat pumpkin seeds, squash seeds, flat lima bean seeds, and tiny parsley seeds, and tomato plants and potato eyes. Then the rain came, and the sun shone, and the wind came blowing softly through the night. And the rain and the sun and the soft winds in the night. Bright little sprouts popped up through the ground. Radishes popped up and parsley curled. Under the ground, the beets turned red and the carrots turned yellow. And the potato sprouts grew bigger. Those ones are root vegetables. We eat the part that's underground. The worms turned the earth over. The moles dug about. And a little mouse built his nest in the grass roots near a rabbit hole. And beautiful vegetable flowers came out yellow tomato flowers, big yellow squash flowers, red bean flowers, white pea flowers and potato flowers all full of bees, their friends the bees. And the weeds came too, and they grew and grew and grew, prickly weeds, tall weeds, feathery weeds, and they grew and grew and grew. And the two gardeners said, this will never do, and they hoed out the weeds. Then the sun came, shone hotter, no rain, so they came with their hose and sprinkled all the rows till the dusty dirt was damp and wet. And the vegetables grew and grew and they grew. So high, the two little gardeners had to put up some fences for the peas to grow on, and pull tall poles for the beans to climb up, and some sticks for the tomatoes to lean on. And they made little holes, hills to hold up the corn. And then came the bir little birds and fur animals and the gardeners, who only had come to eat, and had come to eat too soon. There were too many creatures in the garden, so the two little gardeners built a fl big floppy scarecrow. A fiercely footed rabbit mole to scare away certain rabbits and groundhogs and squirrels and moles, and the field mice who had come up to eat the garden. And the garden grew and grew and grew. The corn tassels bloomed and the pumpkins got fat, the beans grew long, and the carrots pushed up through the ground, and the cabbage looked like three big green roses all in a row. Day after day, day. Something was ready and ripe to be eaten. So the two little gardeners, with their baskets, they picked and picked and picked and picked pumpkins and parsnips and peppers and cabbage and beans off poles and potatoes deep in the ground and the corn from the tall green stalks until everything was picked. And they cooked and they cooked and they cooked pumpkins and potatoes and parsley, corn and cabbage and beans until everything was cooked. And then they ate and ate and ate cabbage and carrots and cauliflower, beans, beets, and long ears of corn until they were full. But they couldn't eat it all, so they put some things in cans and jars and bottles and stored them away on their shelves. The onions were dried and hung in big bunches. The carrots were stored in big tubs. There was a bin for potatoes and a bin for pumpkins, and a high dry shelf for squash. Then the gardeners rested and they sang a little song. The End